How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the best Pokemon cards for under $50. And starting it right off the bat, here we have the first and only full art trainer on this list, believe it or not. We have the Marley, all the way back from Sword and Shield base set, currently available at an incredible $35, I guess with shipping $36. But $35 right about there, which is an insane price to me. Um, look at the market history for this one. It was sitting up an 80 last year in, in July, which is insane. Look at how much it has calmed down. And I do expect this card will go up again um, in the near future, because you have to realize, as I said, this is from Sword and Shield base set. As soon as stock completely dries up, if it hasn't already, um, this is gonna be an incredible card. I recently cracked this out of my PSA 9 case and just stuck it in my binder, so I luckily already have this card. Unfortunately though, for my European peeps, this is very expensive. As you can see for the price right here, the cheapest one is like 60 euros, which is way too expensive for this list. Um, but I did find an eBay listing. So this is a PSA 8. And if you can see here, you pay about 38 dollars, or 38 euros, sorry, 38 euros, um, plus 15 euros, just a tiny bit over, over the, um, whatchamacallit, the 50 euro mark, 50 dollar mark. Um, this already includes tax, so we don't have to pay any tax, um, but I feel like this is the cheapest way for us Europeans to get a Marnie card. And PSA 8, um, just for a binder copy, this is what most of these cards are is completely fine in my opinion. That is completely fine and I think that card is super good, especially at this price for, for us Europeans. Pretty, pretty good card. Moving on though, an alternate art that I actually pulled myself on the channel, believe it or not. The Galarian Zapdos V from Chilling Rain. I pulled that from a 100 euro mystery box, which is still unbelievable to me. Um, this one is currently available um, with shipping, oh no, hang on, that's a Chinese card. Um, this one is currently available for about $43, which is really, really cool. Let's look at the price history for this one, because I feel like, okay, so it has gone down, but now it looks like it's picking up again, and I do have a feeling that Chilling Rain um, might become a very expensive set. I think people have been sleeping on this set, in my opinion. Um, not as much though, because I'm pretty sure a booster box is still currently around 200 euros. So it's definitely not that much slept on, but this is an incredible set. Like, between the Galarian Zapdos, you can also pull the Moltres, of course, or the Articuno. Um, I think the Celebi is in this one, although I might be mixing it up with Fusion Strike. Um, if I did, I do apologize. Um, an incredible card, in my opinion over on the European side, for once it's actually cheaper, believe it or not. We have a few copies here for around 35 euros, which is really, really great. Really, really lovely card. Um, next up, we have another alternate art. I didn't actually pull this one, but this is one of my absolute all-time favorite alternate arts. The Zara Aura V, also surprisingly from Chilling Rain. Um, this one currently available for around $42 with shipping. Uh, maybe $44 with shipping. Um, you'll have to choose which seller. This one is a Chinese version, so don't buy that one, even though Chinese cards are pretty um, pretty cool. That is way too much for that Chinese card. And yeah, probably one of these guys. Um, let's look at the price history. I'm actually curious. Yeah, look at how much that has gone down. I think it's a similar situation as with the Galarian Zapdos V. It is a bit cheaper, luckily, on card market right here, just under 50 euros. Um, if you are situated in a European country, like not the UK or Norway, you're most likely going to sell or choose this German seller because then you don't have to pay value at a tax. Um, with these other two, if you're not situated in their country themselves, you have to pay value at a tax and it gets a little bit more expensive than 50. Still an incredible card and... As I said, one of my all-time favorite alternate arts. Next up right here, I'm actually really happy to include this card. We have the Mewtwo and Mew GX, a Sun and Moon era promo. And an incredible promo at that. Not only do we have Mew on the card, you have Mewtwo. Well, judging by the name, of course. It's a two-for-one deal. How could you go wrong about this one? This is an insane card. Currently available for around 42 euros with shipping included, which is great. Price history, actually, 
interesting okay so it seems to have like settled around the 40 to 50 dollar mark for now um i'm really sad though because this is actually a card that i do not own yet um but i might buy that in the future i was gonna buy it in a psa 10 um but now that i've like switched things around in my binder i might just buy a binder copy for this one unfortunately similar to the marnie though this one is a little bit too expensive over in in europe you have one for 55 but that one has surface scratches on the back maybe that's good enough for you let me just look at the card actually maybe this is good enough for you as a binder copy um, but other than that look at the 60 euros and these sellers are from the uk so you will have to pay value added tax if you get it from them uh i don't know i do have one copy right here which is a little bit cheaper than all the others right here um this is from from ebay it is 56 dollars so a little bit over so i'm a little bit cheating here with this one for for the europeans um but this might be the best one um one thing to point out from this seller in particular though um there is a little issue right here in the corner so either you choose this one or you choose um this one you know, either way, I think the card is great and definitely worth worth the money. Awesome card. Next up right here, we have another GX card. This time around, the Rayquaza GX. And you know how much I love shiny Pokemon. Especially a shiny Rayquaza and a Charizard. Um, this one, I do believe, is actually from like a special promo box. Like, really, really cool box. The box itself is very expensive, obviously. The promo is still pretty affordable, in my opinion. $38 for, um, or with, with shipping included. That is really, really good. $38 for this one. Over in Europe, though, we are lucky once again. You know, it happens once in a while. Um, we have one currently on sale for 30 euros. I'd imagine this won't stick around for very long. That's a pretty good price. We have one for 35. So all around, a great pickup to be sure. Here we have another Rayquaza card. I actually recently posted this on my Twitter. Shameless plug right here at BudgetPokemonYT. Go follow me. I do post a lot of cards. And they are much higher quality um, than compared to the YouTube posts. So definitely check my Twitter out if you're interested. Um, this one available for around $40. Now this is a near mint copy. And there's only two offers, so you might have to go for a light plate copy once again if you're just in the market for binder copies, which is what most of these are supposed to be. Um, then a light plate copy might be totally fine, $25, which is even cheaper. That's like half of the budget we've set for for these cards. Um, nonetheless, though, a really, really amazing card in my opinion. I mean, I do love Rayquaza. Over on the European side, though, we are once again very, very lucky. You know, it does happen once in a while. Um, check out the price for most of these. We have one for 18, 20 dollars or 20 euros, 24 euros. Really, really amazing stuff. The card that's actually cheaper for once in, in Europe. It does happen once in a while. Here we have an alternative. This is the last Rayquaza, but this is just an alternative version of this Rayquaza. Um, different artwork, slightly different. It is a little bit more expensive because this was a card from Supreme Victory. So this is a card that you had to pull. Whereas um, this Rayquaza was a promo. Um, in my opinion, either, either one is fine. I do actually prefer the promo. Um, in my opinion, it does look cooler and it's cheaper. So I prefer that one for that reason. But there is the option. Same with this one. Not a whole lot of offers. There's one for 50 um, probably for a binder copy, a light plate one ought to be fine. So there you go. Over on the European side, though, it is once again a little bit more expensive. But as I've said, this is just supposed to be like an alternative to the first Rayquaza. If you're European or if you're from Europe, definitely advise you to, to buy this version of the Rayquaza instead. Okay, moving on from level X cards to EX cards. These are actually really, really cool. I actually really love these X and Y um, secret wear cards. Here we have a Mewtwo EX. And this one is currently available for around $45 with shipping included. And I do have to say, if I ever get done with my binder, like buying uh, the cards that I do want to buy now, I might get these as well. There's like a ton of these. I have a few more of these in my list here. These are awesome. I do love these secret rares from the X and Y era. Super cool stuff. Over on the European side right here, I did have to go through um, through the excellent condition because near mints were just too expensive. 
Um, here we have one available for 29 euros, and then other ones are available for like 45, um, 48. Um, definitely a really, really cool card. That's not the only one, because this one right here, the God of War EX, a card that I'm pretty sure I've actually bought in one of my mail days. Um, if I did, I'll be sure to link it like up here somewhere. Um, I really, really love this card. This is like one of my absolute favorite God of War cards, not gonna lie. Um, not only is it illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita, they also managed to make Steam Siege great because the card is in this. I know Steam Siege is hated by a lot of people, but this card is awesome, right? You're much better off buying the card than buying a few Steam Siege booster packs, though, because it is available for $30. Can you believe that? $30 for such an amazing card. Lovely, lovely stuff. Over on the European side, once again, a little bit more expensive. We have one for $35. Um, 36, 40, 40 euros. Um, definitely still more affordable than the Mewtwo and more readily available. And as I said, this is an awesome card. Highly advise you buy this one. This is this is really, really cool. Here we have another of these secret rares from the X and Y era. The Yveltal EX. This is actually a promo, but it does look super, super cool. This one is available for around $45. So amazing, amazing stuff over on the European side. Once again, a little bit too expensive for this list. Like, look at the prices. So I searched through through eBay once again, and I found this one right here, um, which is a light plate version, which ought to be excellent in terms of condition. Um, this one is available for around 40 euros plus a 3 euros shipping. Um, value added tax already included. So that is very, very important if you are from Germany or any other European country. So you don't have to pay value added tax on top of that. It's all included. And here we have the last of these EX secret wear cards. We have the Shaman EX, also a promo. This one, really, really cool. Once again, you have the Rayquaza in the background. Actually, Mega Rayquaza in the background. Really, really amazing card. Yeah, if I am seeing these cards, I will probably go out and buy a few of them. Now that I see him like that, there's one copy available for like below 30 or below $50. And this is great. Once again, maybe a light play copy ought to be fine for a binder copy. But for the sake of this video, most of them are near mint. Over on the European site, once again, though, a little bit too expensive. So I looked through eBay and found two copies of these. Oh, by the way, these are all, well, the seller is situated in the US. So even though I'm looking at them on eBay Germany, you can still buy these if you are from the US, if this, if you prefer this one. Um, currently available for 25 euros, once again, 3 euros shipping. Might actually be the same seller as the, um, what should we call it, SD Yveltal. Yeah, it is the same seller. So there you go. If you want to buy multiple cards from the same seller, <laughs> there it is. Um, here's another copy of that card. Um, a few more pictures, although it, it appears to be there is something wrong with this one right here. Um, still though 32 euros, but 20 euros in shipping, so probably not this one. I don't know why I included this one. This one is probably more than fine, but there you go, the Shaman EX. We are moving towards the end. I have a few more EX cards right here. We have the Charizard EX. Um, once again, an X and Y promo. I do really like this illustration. It's make it's illustrated by Koki Saito, um, a really, really good artist. And this one is currently available for $36, including shipping, which is really, really cool. Really, really great price for a card like that. Oh, on the European site, once again, and surprisingly, it's actually a bit cheaper. Um, 20 euros with this one, 30 euros. You get the gist of it. And here we have a card that's actually very special to me because I don't actually own this one yet. Can you believe it? A Mew card that I do not own, which I'm really, really ashamed to admit. But the card itself is awesome. It's from the Radiant Collection, actually, a black and white set, I'm pretty sure. Be that as it may, though, the card itself is incredible. Currently available for around $40, I guess, with shipping a little bit over. Over on the European side, um, similar prices, a little bit more expensive. We have one for 40 euros, 45 euros. And I definitely want to add this to my collection this year. Definitely, definitely. This is a really, really cool card. And last but not least, we have the Mega Charizard EX from Evolutions. A set actually very infamous for, in my opinion, being overpriced. 
Um, this is the most expensive card that he can actually pull from the set. I know there are more expensive cards, but those are like staff promos and so on. Or pre-release promos. Um, this is the most expensive card that you can pull from the set. And it's available for $39, around $39 um, with shipping. So there you go. The most expensive card from the set available for $39. Why would you buy the set? Not to open, that's for sure. Um, over on the European side, a little bit more expensive. But here we go. 45 euros, 37. Um, readily available for under 50 euros. Which is... Once again, incredible, because if we look at the, the booster boxes for Evolutions, um, almost 800 euros for one booster box. That's absolutely insane. Well, but that does it for this video. I hope you did enjoy this one, and I hope I did get to show you some of the incredible cars that are available for under $50. Video is longer than I usually had planned, but there's just so many amazing cards that I want to show you guys. If you really loved the video, then consider liking the video, maybe even subscribing to the channel. Um, right here somewhere is probably a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right up here, maybe on top of the Charizard's face is the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first if you really feel like it. Click this video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace, take care.